Can plastic surgery turn fantasy into reality? If that were true and fantasies became realities, I would be a pirate. Oh, and that's baby. no good. How do you go to work with a peg leg? 39-year-old Carly wishes her fanny was the stuff of fantasies. I'm a dominatrix. I do that for a living, and I sell fantasies to men. My dominatrix name is Ms. Barbie Bitch, and yes, I want to live up to it. I want to look like that. I hate my butt. My butt looks like two sacks of potatoes. It looks, looks terrible. I don't look like how a dominatrix should look. Now Carly wants a buttock lift so that she can have a fantasy fanny. People come to see me because they're expecting to see a fantasy, you know, a, a basically a living doll. Why would anybody want to come to me if I looked like their wife? I mean, that's not a fantasy. Sorry, women, but it's not. In a hidden camera experiment, we'll find out if reaction to an aspiring spokesmodel changes when we change her from small-butted to big-bootied. Researchers from the University of South Australia report that the likelihood of a woman having the shape of Barbie's body is one in 100,000. And those odds become 100,000 times less likely if you're born outside of a Mattel factory. I love Barbie. I know she's a fantasy for little girls, but who wouldn't want to look like her? Sandra Zickerman teaches sociology at the University of Toronto. Researchers at Vanderbilt University in Tennessee suggest that if Barbie were a real woman, she would have to crawl rather than walk to support her top-heavy frame. She would wear a size 3 children's shoe, and her arms would not be big enough to accommodate all of the bones needed for them to function. 39-year-old Carly would like to look like Barbie. She's already had breast implant surgery and a thigh lift. I like how my breasts look. They're perky, they're big, they're round. I want my behind to match my breasts. My butt doesn't make me feel happy. It doesn't make me feel sexy. I want to build myself like that Barbie image of that statuesque woman. That's what I want to be. Now Carly is undergoing a buttock lift to Barbie up her bottom. Being a dominatrix is not about being naked. It's about being fully clothed and looking fantastic in that clothing. So that's exactly why I want to have the butt lift. I want to look super sexy. Being a dominatrix has given me a large amount of confidence. However, it has also made me realize, you know what, the body has to be shaped to have this type of confidence. I just feel that my butt holds me back. <laughs> But is a hot butt of any real value? Research from Harvard Medical School reveals that bigger, more curvaceous bottoms are a sign of longevity and good health. In a hidden camera experiment, we put this to the test. We're sending small butt Becky to a downtown street corner to pose as an aspiring spokesmodel to find out what percentage of passers-by will support her bid to become Miss Healthy Toronto. Hey guys, do you have a second? I'm entering the Miss Healthy Toronto contest and I need 50 signatures, no? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. can I have one second? I'm entering the Miss Healthy Toronto contest. I just need some help to get to the finals. Do you have one second? I just need a signature. I'm trying to get into the Miss Healthy Toronto contest. So far, okay. no one is getting behind small butt Becky. It's like pulling teeth out here. I'm entering the Miss Healthy. Could it be that her tiny tush does not say good health? No. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea why anyone would doubt her health. She's got grapes pinned to her ear. Clearly, she's doing fine. Hello there. I'm entering the Miss Healthy Toronto contest. I need 50 signatures to get me to the finals. What do you say? Do I look healthy? You want to support me? Awesome, thank you. Finally, this woman backs small butt Becky. Think I look healthy enough? You look pretty healthy. OK, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I'm entering the Miss Healthy Toronto contest, and I need 50 signatures to get me to the finals. What do you think? Do I look healthy enough? Yeah, you do. Awesome. I look healthy enough? Good yeah, spokesperson? Yeah, you look good. Thank you. <laughs> do I look healthy enough? Think I'd be a good spokesperson? 
What do you say? Do you think I make a good healthy spokesperson? Perfect. Do I look healthy? You look more like Miss Canada. Miss Canada! I know, it's the red and white, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 thank you so much. You're so sweet. I look healthy enough? I will send if you go out. Oh, God. <laughs> See, that just goes to show that for every sweet old man, there's a dude with a ponytail trying to get laid. I'm entering the Miss Healthy Toronto contest. I need 50 signatures to get me into the finals. What do you say? Yeah, I'll sign for you. You look so healthy. I look so, so healthy. Oh, you're so kind. Uh, you're great. I have grapes growing out of my head. 61% of the passersby small but Becky approached backed her bid to become Miss Healthy Toronto. Do you think I make a good spokesperson for health? Absolutely. Thank you. I didn't notice anybody obviously checking out my butt, but that'll probably change after I put on the uh, the big booty. <laughs> Have a wonderful so you day. Win, Thank huh? you, me too. <laughs> Carly wants a tight round bottom, and she's willing to undergo a buttock lift to get one. I have bounced back and forth in losing weight. I've gone from being very heavy to being slender, heavy, slender, and it's just made my skin droopy. Emotionally, my butt makes me feel crummy, depressed, awful, unhappy. It's really important for me to get the butt lift, so it does lift my spirits, make me feel confident, make me feel sexy. I want my butt to smile instead of frown. That's what I want. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons reports that over the last decade, the number of women undergoing buttock lifts has increased by over 1,000%. Woman in tight pants showing off some ass cleavage? So sexy. That is far too much information. That is, wow. I'm gonna have bad dreams. Some research suggests that as our primate ancestors walked on all fours, putting a potential mate's buttocks at eye level, that the buttocks were seen as the original focus of human sexual attraction. In the second part of our hidden camera test, we are transforming Becky from small butted to big bootied. And we're sending Big Booty Becky back to the downtown street corner to pose as an aspiring spokesmodel to find out what percentage of passers-by will support her bid to become Miss Healthy Toronto. If the research is correct and a big bottom is a sign of good health, then more people may now back Big Booty Becky. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm great. Wait, I'm uh, entering the Miss Healthy Toronto contest. Atta girl. <laughs> We're enthusiastic, aren't we? Atta girl. We, I need 50 signatures to get me into the finals. What do you say? We're going to be promoting it's health. Just a John Hancock. Yeah. And I'd be a good spokesperson, don't you think? Absolutely. Do I look healthy enough? You do, you do, and you got the attitude. And I got the attitude, my friend. Thank Absolutely. you for your help. Yes, Becky, you do have a lot of assitude. <laughs> We're gonna be promoting health and healthy eating habits for kids across the city. Think I would be a good promoter? You think I look healthy? Yes? <laughs> would I be a good promoter for health? So far, big booty Becky has no trouble getting passers-by to back her bid. What do you think? I'd be a good spokesperson for health? Why not? All right. Do I look healthy? Am I a good promoter for us? Yeah? I look healthy, don't I? Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. I think I look pretty healthy. You agree? Yeah? All right. Would you be able to help me out here? Yeah. I'm entering the Miss Healthy Toronto contest. What's that? I'll just sign. You'll just sign anything. Doesn't even matter what I say, does it? What do you say? Do I look healthy enough? What do you think? Is that really your ass? Yeah. Is that really my ass? Is that really your ass? No, I mean, like, it's a nice ass. <laughs> Not much girls have like that, that big size of ass. Her butt looked beyond healthy. <laughs> 
70% of the passers-by Big Booty Becky approached supported her bid to become Miss Healthy Toronto. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your support. More than the 61% of passers-by who backed Small Butt Becky. People thought I was really enthusiastic and and uh, they liked the, uh, the package. <laughs> Dr. Tim Spruill is a board-certified plastic surgeon practicing in Toronto. He'll be preparing Carly today for her buttock lift. Hi, Dr. Spruill. How are you Good doing? Good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Show me the offending areas. Okay. So... This, I find this too low. I find this, the saddlebag, awful. Terrible. Okay. I want to lift this up. You've already got a scar here from the lateral thigh lift that we uh, did. And I think all we need to do is just extend the incision a little bit further into yeah. the midline and dissect down over the buttock fold and then elevate it. So that's what will happen. And I think that will give you the result that you want. How much skin will you be taking off? I'm expecting it's going to be probably about four or five inches in yeah. width. So imagine what I'm doing here, okay. pulling up like this. About that much skin, something like that. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Okay. A buttock lift is not without risk. Carly could face complications. Seroma. Fluid caused by blood vessels ruptured during surgery can build up under the skin and require draining. Scarring. Poor healing can result in lumpy scars. Reoperation. An unfavorable aesthetic outcome may lead to a second surgery. Carly is willing to take on the risks of a buttock lift so that she can have a fantasy body. She arrives at the clinic on surgery day. Hi, good morning, Carly. Hi, Jen. I'm feeling a little nervous about this surgery. The reason I'm doing this surgery is that I'm only getting older, I'm not getting any younger, and for the next 20 years of my life, you know, I want to be a bombshell, basically. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? It's important for me to look good and to have this Barbie body so I can portray this fantasy for the people. After the surgery, I hope my butt looks tight. I hope it looks happy. I hope it's lifted. I should have done it 10 years ago. You know, every day that I don't have this surgery is just every day that's wasted. A survey by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons reveals that 73% of women think their appearance plays a role in getting hired. When I'm trying to land a new client, I show off my long legs. I know it's wrong, but it works. I got Botox before a job interview, and guess what? I got the position. A survey of British men and women reveals that 57% believe plastic surgery is the key to true happiness. They think what? We're going to a downtown karate class to ask men, what do you think is the key to true happiness? A career, a relationship, or plastic surgery? I think a relationship. As far as the career goes, money doesn't make happiness. And certainly looks like you lose those eventually, no matter how much plastic surgery you have. I think a relationship's most important because this is important to keep you together. I would have to say uh, career. Because career brings many, many good things in your life, you know, money-wise, uh, good friendships and prosperity. <laughs> I'd say career. You can live without a relationship, but uh, not without a career. It's, you need to get by. I think a relationship is the key to true happiness. I mean, a career or plastic surgery, you can really get any of them from stemming from the others, but I think a relationship is uh, strong for everyone. A relationship. If you're in a good relationship, you're going to end up experiencing more happiness than you would as a single person. Zero percent of these men think plastic surgery is the key to true happiness. Unlike the 57 percent of British people surveyed. Well, I guess this study finds that England needs a big hug. What's wrong with you, British people? Hi, Carly. We're ready to start, so let's go. Okay. Carly hopes a buttock lift will bring her happiness. I've had some absolutely horrible past relationships. I've had men cheat on me. Every single boyfriend I had punched me out. 
I'm ready to move on. It's my past, and I'm looking forward to a much better future. While they're getting old, ugly, bald, and fat, I will be sexy and hot and a fantasy. I'll still be a fantasy, and they'll be nothing. Dr. Sproul begins the operation by making incisions across Carly's lower back and buttocks, including along scars from her previous surgery. Next, excess skin is removed. Great. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we pull this right up. Dr. Sproul then pulls up Carly's remaining skin to tighten the buttocks. In the middle, like so. And the incisions are closed. She's looking great. Carly is then turned over. Nice. Incisions are made around the tops of Carly's thighs. Excess skin is removed. And the incisions are closed. Finally, Dr. Sproul uses liposuction to slim Carly's legs. Carly's buttock lift took three and a half hours to complete. Is Dr. Sproul happy with the result? Carly's procedure went really well today. We had less blood loss than I thought there'd be. I was quite happy with the way all of the incisions came together going to be several weeks of bruising and swelling and discomfort to go through, but I think she'll get a, a very good result. It will be six weeks before Carly sees the full result of her surgery. Research from the U.S. reveals that one in four women will experience violence in her lifetime from an intimate partner and many will be left with both mental and physical scars. I had my nose broken in an abusive relationship, and plastic surgery helped me improve my outer and inner image. Plastic surgery can help a woman physically. In fact, the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery has begun a program that specifically caters to women who have been victims of violence. We're going to a downtown yoga class to ask women, what do you think is the key to true happiness? A career, a relationship, or plastic surgery? Definitely relationships. Whether it's family with having kids or being in a relationship or friends and everything, that's really what the key moments in life are. I'm gonna say career, because a woman needs to be independent. A career's, I don't know, kind of better than a relationship or anything else, because you can get that stuff after. On the internet, Craigslist. I would have to pick relationship as the, the key to happiness for me. I used to think career, actually. Um, I became very career-oriented. And then I found that, actually, my career wasn't making me as happy as I thought I would be. Definitely a relationship. That's what life is about. It's about making those connections with human beings. It's not about how much money you make or how good you look. I kind of did pick my career over my relationship, so I would have thought it'd be relationship, but I think it would probably be career. The key for true happiness for me is a relationship. I believe that a career is very important, um, but ultimately you want to have a good relationship with the people around you. And by doing that, I think that it'll give you the motivation to have a solid career. And I mean, if you want to have surgery down the road just to enhance whatever you have, then I'm okay with that. Zero percent of these women think that plastic surgery is a key to true happiness. The same result as when we surveyed men. But unlike the 57% of British people who believe plastic surgery is the key to happiness, it's been three months since Carly underwent a buttock lift. Carly's buttocks are now firmer and sit higher, and they no longer sag. My butt used to look like a sack of potatoes. It doesn't anymore. Now it looks 
much better and I'm pleased with the results. There was definitely pain in the recovery process. That is completely to be expected, but with time, things will be much better. My butt now makes me feel fantastic. I feel more confident and more feminine. Has plastic surgery given Carly the fantasy fanny she hoped for? Plastic surgery has definitely given me the fantasy body that I've always wanted and desired. With the right clothing and the right attitude, my body definitely exudes the sexy attitude I want to portray. For my clients, I feel that I can satisfy them. I look young, I don't look my age, I definitely don't look like one of their wives. Do I feel that I've put my past behind me? Yes. Do I feel I'm going to be moving forward? Yes. And you'll have my butt to look at as I walk out that door. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Okay.